the wash monument, right? So this is um, this is where it really gets quirky, right? So watch uh, Big Abba. So what? Wow. All right. So from the ground, <laughs> check this out, right? From the ground to the top, the very top is 555 feet tall, right? At 6,666 inches, like five, five in the 555 in Egyptian numerology, right? Represents death and resurrection. That's what it represents in Egyptian numerology. But it doesn't stop there. Because you can't just have the obelisk standing there. I mean, a heavy wind would push that thing over, right? Obviously, it's going to have a base under the ground to support the weight, support it from tilting and everything else, right? So, from the ground, you could check this. Uh, you go to the, the official Washington's DC sites, they have all the information. From the ground down, it's 111 feet. So, put it together. 111 plus 555, what is that? And I know some people, are like, yo, you're going to do the common core, you know, simplify it, 666. Not a coincidence at all. Not a coincidence at all. This is uh, satanic as it comes. Plain and simple. And you can see the sun yeah. setting over the Capitol building. Now what I'll give you some Egyptian stuff right here. This is in the Egyptian days, right? Um, the sun. Uh, the sun was believed to be God, okay? To the regular people. The priest preached that the sun was God. So basically, uh, when the sun rises, right? It comes over the Capitol building. And, and the sunlight, they believe it's Ra's divine masturbation. Literally. It's illuminating the phallic symbol. And the, the Capitol building's representation. That's why there's one in Rome. There's one in France. There's always an obelisk with a Capitol building. For a reason. Because it simulates Nimrod's golden penis... Through the reflecting pool and everything else, ejaculating into a, 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 a pregnant belly. 